is a word or expression in English that are associated with similar ones in Dutch, but that mean quite different things. <laughs> Dutchisms can leave the non-Dutch listener quite confused. I want to read you a, a, a conversation between a Dutch farmer and his English-speaking friend as they talk back and forth a bit. Uh, if you're a Dutch speaker, you will understand every word perfectly. If you're not, you might wonder. Ask your Dutch neighbor for clarification. Here we go. Uh, a Canadian farmer meets his uh, Dutch neighbor at the local co-op. Uh, the Canadian farmer asks, how are things going? The Dutch friend says, ah, oh, we have been so very arm and moo, but now I feel me much better today on that my friend who lives on the farmery behind the corner planted a nice apple boom in my field. I hope the little acorns and those other little beasts don't get at it. English friends don't know what I'm talking about? No. Dutch people? Yeah. I have to stand up early every morning and make a butter ham with peanut cheese to take to my job at the fabric in London. After that, I had to fix the goat stain in the kitchen because it was far stopped. It was cabbage. I may have to bell a lead pourer to fix it. I really bored me rot with this weather. It's only good for the horse flowers. But soon it will be heaven far stay. And I have a good ID for that. I will buy my wife a new stuff sucker. <laughs> or I will steer a brief to my home and ask for a leaning. <laughs> Last year it was all cake and eggs, but now it doesn't butter between us. So I hope he does not laugh himself an accident and say that I am stat nuts. But in the end, I always hit my sin. <laughs> Ah, uh, there is my son, I see him. He is very by the hand, but he always plays his radio too hard. It makes me crazy as a door, and does not sit good at my skin. <laughs> hey son, what is everything on the hand here? I have you in the holes and I can hold it not more out. I want to say, I'll oh, let it butt. So the meter up. Don't make an elephant out of a mosquito here. That is a funny for speaking. Think you not? Just give me an ad word. Speak English or not. <laughs> Dutchisms. If you if you know the language, you understand that perfectly. So <laughs> you to the food table and sacrificed himself by eating last. Um, But of course, at an event like this, a 50th anniversary, has to be celebrated, no doubt about it. But one person alone can never do it. You need a committee, you need board members who back you up. And I had people in my committee who were really awesome, who were really great, and they helped me out through everything. Ava, Pete, Anya, John, uh, Simon started out helping me out, Martin Vandermark. Some could not make it at the end, but the people who stick with me, Joseph, I guess, not to forget you, uh, they were really great, really awesome people, and uh, I thank them all for helping me out with everything they did. Uh, Richard the the Dutch Council, who offered help with some protocol items. Uh, the members, non-members, who led us things for the displays downstairs. I can bring my own to shout the bus, but would be poorly displayed. <laughs> um, then of course the people outside who were there today, uh, Wilhelm and Portia Perrin, the Poffertjes Kraam, Lene and Janita Hakvoors, the fish wagon, Henk and Irene Noordermeer, the dry organo, the Canadian leather supplier for the nice table linens we have, Van Luijks for the nice plants they offered to Borgers. Really great to help us out. 
Bergamans flowers, and not to forget Rick and Judy Bergamans. Uh, probably I forget how many people's, but put it on the list. But the mistakes I made doesn't matter. Uh, I thank you all for coming out. I hope you had a great evening. Tomorrow we have another day, 10 to 4, and if it goes the same way as it went today, we had a supreme weekend. Nothing went wrong. It was awesome. So thank you all for helping us out, supporting us, coming out, and have a nice evening.